le plancher, m'a tapé des contacts. Oui, c'est ça. Mais de toute façon, ça fait 10 ans que je suis chez Dior, j'ai vraiment appris à ne plus dire jamais. It's using that street and sportswear opposed to the more tailoring start of the show, which I really wanted to be very body conscious, very sharp, very tailored, because I find in this period of um, confusion, where everything starts to look alike, luxury, high-end, mass market, street and sports, everything is loose and oversized and casual. I thought it was a good moment for Dior to go back to its uh, DNA, like really the sharply cut suit, actually even referencing Mr. Dior, who started out with a, with a bar jacket. There's a lot of influences, a lot of codes in, in this collection. I like the idea of this character knowing all about kind of historical codes uh, about, about French elegance, the bourgeois elegance, the blazer jacket, the sky blue shirts, the argyle uh, knits, the white pants, all those codes that are really like the leisure wear for bourgeois, chic French men that take off for the weekend. But this guy mixes them with his own coats, the streetwear coats, the, the cargo pants, the camouflage influences, the big uh, military coats. And so old coats meet new coats and make for what I call the new bourgeoisie. <laughs> 